I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. Hello, my friends. How are you? It is your friend, Andrew, and for Andrew Talks. And I am here in the studio tonight just going over the great mail that we've gotten from emails to great cards. Everyone, for your support for Andrew Talks. So we're going through the mailbag. That's right, you heard me. We're going through the mailbag, answering your questions that you want to know about the show, about me, all that good stuff. And it's next on Andrew All right, my friends, my first letter comes from Ava, and she was wondering about my style and how I pick the outfits that I pick for Andrew Talks. And first of all, Ava, thank you for watching. That is an awesome question. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I get with my stylist, Miranda, every week and we pick out an outfit for Andrew Talks. Now you know me, I like a good polo. Yes, indeed, honey, as you've seen in the episodes from season one and season two, there's nothing wrong with a polo. So I definitely wear plenty of those. Um, I, like, I like urban chic today. I'm trying to go, we're trying to do a little urban chic military look today. But really, it's just what's ever comfortable. It's typically casual. I call it walk the dog clothes. I know, it's a little weird. If I had a dog, this is the what I would wear to walk the dog in. That's what I call it, walk the dog clothes. So uh, Ava, thank you again for your question about my style. And shout out to Miranda, shout out for her help every week. Uh, and it's just me. This is an interpretation of me, what I wear, it's how I'm feeling, what I think will look good for you guys to watch every week. So again, Ava, thank you. Mwah. Moving on to question number two comes from us from this beautiful card. Thank you for the card. And the question is, um, it's from Robin. Shout out to Robin. Thank you for watching. She wants to know, other than Andrew on Andrew Talks, what do I watch on YouTube? And Robin, that's a great question. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I'm a little bit of a YouTube-holic. But hands down, hands down, number one thing I'm usually watching our reunion videos, uh, whether it's uh, troops coming home, surprising loved ones, surprising their kids at school, or if it's surprise engagements, anything that will make you cry, tear up, make you happy to be alive, that's usually what I'm watching. I'm usually a big blubbery mess <laughs> with a little tissue, a little toilet paper, whatever I can reach for, just a boo who would enjoy it. It's so sweet, it's so lovely, especially when the military mom and dads come home and they get to see their kids for the first time and they meet them at school, surprise them at school, the little babies, or sometimes it's even big kids are just crying because there's nothing better than your mom or your dad, right? I know, I know, love it. So if I'm not watching Andrew Talks on Andrew, and if you're not watching Andrew Talks on Andrew, I suggest that you uh, check out those videos. There are plenty, plenty, plenty to choose from. All of them are sweet. Would I say some are better than others? I would, but that's rude. So I'm not gonna say, okay, well I said it. Okay, some are better than others, but it, honestly, it's just so sweet and so great to see people, uh, you know, just share the love, just share the love. And that they share it on YouTube is great. Okay, so thank you, Robin. Shout out to you again for the question. And that is what I'm watching on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's true, it's true. All right, next we got an email here, and the email is from Eric, and Eric says that I am always happy-go-lucky, and thank you, Eric, for saying that, but he wants to know what my pet peeve is, what I hate. And Eric, I think I've been sort of forthcoming with all of my pet peeves and what I hate, uh, but a major pet peeve, and something that I do hate, and I don't think I've mentioned it on Andrew Talks just yet, is public restrooms. That's right, I said it, public restrooms. I think they are disgusting. I had a bad experience when I was a child. I really should have go into it, but since you asked. Okay, so uh, I was like eight or nine years old, maybe 10. Uh, we were going on a family vacation. I really had to pee. I didn't pee before I left the house. You know that old story. We stopped at a gas station. I know, I know, I can already hear you guys. Oh, a gas, I know. I stopped at a gas station and before you know it, you know, I'm running for the door. My dad goes with me, just in case, because you never know what's going to happen at a gas station. And that's a good rule of thumb. You should always go. I know girls do that all the time, but guys, there's nothing wrong with taking a fella with you. You never know what's going to pop off or what, yeah, literally pop off in a restroom. So, yeah, bring bring a friend. That's just a quick, that's a quick real talk. A mini, let's call that a mini real talk for you. Yeah, bring a friend. Anywho, so, what? Oh, hold on, guys, sorry. What? Well, I gotta tell the story that I already started the story. Okay, Joe is concerned because usually you guys are watching Andrew Talks um, right after breakfast 
or um, during lunch, and he's concerned that it's going to be a gross story because he knows me. And it is true. It is a gross story. So maybe we should put up a warning that, you know, this is going to be a gross story. And if you are eating or have just eaten recently or thinking about eating, perhaps you should wait. Is that is that good enough? Okay. There's your disclaimer. There is your disclaimer. Okay. Anywho, so I get to the restroom. I really have to pee really badly. I feel like my legs are going to go numb. And I open up the bathroom door. And let me tell you, just envision a can of Hormel chili exploding in the microwave. And that is what the bathroom looked like. There was dookie everywhere, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be frank with you. It was everywhere, Eric. It was on the ceiling. It was on the walls. I have never seen something like that in my life. It was the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. And the sad part is, I had a pee so bad, I almost went inside. But luckily, because I had my dad there, he told me I couldn't go. And we found a Burger King bathroom. Shout out to Burger King for having a clean restroom. And um, I was able to go and have a wonderful vacation. So yes, that is my pet peeve. That is what I hate, public restrooms. I hate that I have to use them. I try my hardest not to, because people are nasty, nasty individuals out there. Not everybody. Not Of course, not Andrew Top viewers. But, you know, there's a few out there. And it's just disgusting. Oh, my God. And I'm sorry, I had to tell the story, so I hope you, I hope you enjoy your lunch. <laughs> okay, anywho, and do not, do not even, don't even try to give me no receipts of bills talking about, Andrew, I couldn't finish my lunch and you need to pay for it because of the story. I don't even want to hear it. Mm -mm. We done gave you the disclaimer. You can thank Joe for that. There you go. There you go. Moving on, moving on. The next question is from Marsha. And shout out to Marsha. Hey, Marsha. Woo! Sorry about that. Joe, hello, earthquake over there. Okay, we got a new person, Randy, our new cameraman, Randy. Shout out to you. Keep it steady, Randy. Keep it steady. Anywho, Marsha wants to know about the crew. She wants to know why we never get to see the crew. Well, the truth of the matter is, Marsha, the crew is in the witness protection program, and for safety and security reasons, we cannot show their faces. Okay, I just want to see if you were going to buy it. No, honestly, the truth of the matter is the crew really is just happy being the crew. And they understand that I am the face and the director and the host and the producer and the writer. And, okay, I'm pretty much their boss is what I am. And they're happy with doing what they do. And I appreciate all their hard work. I certainly do. And they're happy with being behind the camera. And they are happy with me being in front of it. So that is, that is the true answer, Marsha. That is the true answer. The crew is happy working with me, for me, and I am happy to have them on my staff, except for Joe sometimes who causes a ruckus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've seen him cause a ruckus. You know he has. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay. I think we have one final question, and that is... Do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Really? Okay. The question is from the crew. Mm-hmm. And they were wondering when I was going to sing my, do my lip sync of Lindsay Lohan. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all remember. I believe it was season one. Was it season one, Joe? Yeah, season one, I believe. We were talking about Lindsay Lohan. And I said, if Lindsay gets in trouble one more time, if Lindsay goes to jail, I will do a lip sync, like RuPaul lip sync for your life version of her song, Rumors. Now, you may or may not know that Lindsay has been in the news recently about missing some uh, jail, what is it, what is it called, what's the word? Um, what's what's the word, what? Joe can't help me. You know what I'm trying to say. She was supposed to do her, you know, the hours that you're supposed to, what's the, oh my goodness. Crew, someone help, Miranda, what is it when, remember when you go to jail and you're supposed to do the, but you don't really go to jail, the judge gives you blank blank. Any, anybody? And, oh my goodness gracious nobody knows see the crew might be fired for not even knowing this it's not no 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 workers comp Miranda Dunn said workers comp what workers comp that don't even make no daggone sense no she didn't get workers comp no when you have to nobody knows this nobody knows this honestly no, 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 no. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. We're going to get the answer to this. And I know you're screaming it at home. You're screaming it at me, but I, my crew don't know what I'm talking about. And they should because they're supposed to be doing the research for all this. But anyways, anyways. Okay, so when, you know, when a judge says instead of going to jail, you have to do this. You have to work it off. Anybody? Anybody? 
Oh my lord, we're gonna have to figure out what it is. I done forgot the word. You know what I'm trying to say. Well, you, you know what? Let's take a break. We'll take a break. We come right back. We're gonna come right back with more Andrew Talk. I'm gonna give you the answer about whether or not I'm lip syncing for my for my life with Lindsay's song. And to tell you what, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it because she didn't go to jail. That's the true answer. And if you remember the word, write me in because I need more letters anyways. And maybe you should write in and send in your resume because you'll be a much better crew member than these guys. What is it called? You anyways, okay, we're gonna be back. I got real talk for you. I got shout outs for you. I'm certainly not shouting out the crew. I cannot believe nobody can remember this word. I am on camera. I am nervous. This is stage fright. This is what's going on. And you guys should be here to help me to figure out what the, what is it called? What is it? Okay, more to come. More to come on Andrew Talks. So we'll figure it out and then I'll come with the word. We got real talk and shout out and I'll say bye. Okay? Okay, give us one second. We'll okay, my friends, so we're back. I'm sorry for all that hubaloo and craziness. Community service. That is what I was trying to say, crew. Community service. I couldn't remember the word. I'm sorry for the shakiness. Randy, I sort of yelled at Randy, the camera guy, and he got upset, so I'm sorry about that. So, anyways, it was community service that Lindsay Lohan messed up on. And since she didn't go to jail, I will not be lip syncing so everyone can calm down. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the question, crew. Now that we've caused all that craziness, it is time for the shout out. Shout out! of the week and the shout out of the week goes to everybody who wrote in to Andrew from Andrew of Andrew Talks um, just asking all your questions and thank you so much for all your support and keep watching we're almost done with season two believe it or not just a few more episodes to come uh, and then we're moving on to season three bigger and better as always pushing the envelope doing stuff you never thought I could do or wanted to do and sometimes that is the truth. Sometimes I don't even want to do the stuff. But we got to we gotta break out of our comfort zones, right? Exactly. So shout out, shout out to everybody who watches Andrew Talks. All of the new viewers who might um, be watching for the first time. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Make sure you watch the older episodes and catch up. There's some good stuff there. I'm sorry. I'm just going, I know I'm a little biased. But there is some good stuff there. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay. Um, it is time for Real Talk, but before I hit up Real Talk, I know y'all are wondering, is there a ghost in the studio? Because you see the flapping behind me of the curtain. Yeah, no, there's no ghost. No Halloween episode here, unfortunately. Uh, it is thanks in part to the crew. I have a working air system. And so uh, there, will be, <laughs> there will be no sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> <laughs> that's again from other episode. Yeah. Anyways, that's season one. Uh, so luckily, that's all gone. Luckily, that's uh, of the past. So that's what well, that's what that flopping is. We got a cool breeze going, so I could talk to you guys for as long as I want, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Exactly what I want to do. Okay, time for real talk. Real talk. The real talk moment of the week is simply this: do what you love. Do what you love. Mm -hmm. And what you do, you should love. Now, in my case, what I love to do and what I'm doing that I love is Andrew Talks. I love talking to you guys every week. I love, love, love uh, getting your responses, hearing what you have to say, telling me what I need to work on. I call that, uh, I don't even call it criticism. I don't. I don't. I call it help. So thanks for the help, everybody. Uh, I do what I love, and what I love to do is Andrew Talks and talk to you guys. Even if I say, ugh, too much sometimes, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm thinking, and I'm, sometimes I'm not as quick quick with my thinking. Or uh, if it's because the camera is a little tilted, or I look a little lopsided, or whatever the case may be. I thank you guys for the help. I'm doing what I love. I love it that you guys are supporting me so much, and that's what you should do. Now, sometimes you can't always do what you love and get paid for it. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I haven't been paid for Andrew Talks just yet, just yet. And sometimes you got to get another job to, you know, for income. Income. Who needs income, right? <laughs> In this economy, that's what a lot of people are saying. Where is the income? <laughs> I kid. Anywho, so uh, that, is, that is the real talk moment of the week. Randy, honestly. Joe, you're going to have to do the camera from now on. Anyways, okay. That is the real talk moment of the week. Do what you love, love what you do, because why Why do it in the first place if you don't love it, right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. 
All right, my friends. Well, it is already time to say goodbye. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope you had as much fun as I did going through the mailbag. Uh, thank you guys again for all your questions. Shout out to the crew. Well, half a shout out. Half a shout out to the crew um, and all their just craziness. It's just craziness what happened uh, this evening. I hope you had fun. I hope you got a chance to laugh. And you know what I say. Make it great. Make it great. So get out there. Make it great. Have a great morning. Have a great lunch. Have a great dinner. Do not, do not send me those receipts for the nasty story because we warned you ahead of time and I warned you again right now. So don't you even send me those receipts. Uh, make it great. I love you. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks. I will see you next week with a brand new Andrew Talks. Look forward. Oh, and before I forget, I know I'm saying bye, but uh, for all of our new friends, go on Facebook, go to Andrew Talks with Andrew, become a fan of the page. Uh, you can write me there. Let me know what you think of the show, if you have any ideas. Also, I am signing up. I've already signed up, actually. My video's already up. For Anchors with Edge from OneMinuteNews.com, you can go to OneMinuteNews.com, click on Anchors with Edge, and vote for me to become their newest anchor. Now, here is the catch. Here's the catch. Do not do it this week. We are all going to join forces next week. And I will remind you next week on Andrew Talks. But just in case I forget, I will remind you next week. We're all going to join forces and vote, vote, vote. You can vote once a day, every day, uh, clear out your cookies, all that computer lingo stuff. And make sure you vote. You can also vote on your smartphone. So that gives you two votes for Andrew. Um, you can't miss me. My picture's right there. I'm really, really excited about it. It's just an extra branch. We're branching out here of Andrew Talks and trying something um, to reach more people. So that's next week. Don't forget, next week, Anchors with Edge with OneMinuteNews.com. 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 Go to Anchors with, or you can go to AnchorsWithEdge.com and vote for me there. But that's next week, okay? Starting Sunday next week. Got it? Excellent. Okay. Make it great. You know I am. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.